I am Dr. Lance Walsh. I'm a urologist, board certified. I've been in Coachella Valley since 2007. We have a state-of-the-art office here in the Valley uh, where we can perform a wide uh, array of uh, procedures in the office. This includes the new Urolift technique for treatment of benign prostatic hypertrophy. It offers a rapid, significant reduction in the AUA symptom score with a reduction in the quality of life score that is almost equivalent to a transurethral resection of the prostate. It's important that uh, you discuss this Urolift option with them when talking about BPH, and even when starting them on medication and uh, using the the round uh, handout that compares each of the treatment options. A very strong selling point of the Urolift is that it has absolutely no effects on sexual function. There is no increased risk of erectile dysfunction or retrograde ejaculation. So who is the ideal candidate for the Urolift? Uh, it's one for patients that are on medical management that either are uh, having side effects like dizziness, asthenia, or uh, it's just not very effective, uh, or for patients considering having a transurethral resection of the prostate but don't want to have the uh, side effects or long recovery period that's required, especially patients that are active. Uh, and this also in includes patients that are poor surgical candidates but may qualify for the Urolift. Good morning. How are you? Good. After the patient checks into reception, uh, they're brought back and uh, taken to the restroom to provide a urine specimen. The specimen is in process uh, with a dipstick in order to ensure that they do not have a urinary tract infection. They're then brought back to the uh, ultrasound room where they're placed in the uh, lateral decubitus position and a prostate ultrasound is performed as well as a uh, local block uh, periprostatic nerve block uh, with 1% uh, lidocaine. For their comfort, uh, the uh, room lights are uh, dimmed and also uh, music is playing. And to administer the medication, okay, he's going to be using a, a lidocaine to and, uh... and they're informed of each step of the process uh, throughout the entire procedure. After the local anesthetic is applied, they're brought to the cystoscopy room. Approximately 20 to 30 minutes have elapsed, allowing the local anesthetic to take full effect. They're brought in and laid supine on the table and then placed in the modified lithotomy position. The uh, video tower and cystoscope equipment as well as retrieval kit have been placed and the uh, blue drape is uh, placed uh, above the patient's torso to block his view of the uh, procedure. We have a, a staff member engage him in conversation as to distract him uh, from the procedure. This uh, so-called verbal anesthetic plays a very important role in the success of the procedure, making them more comfortable. 